living resources comprise all the organisms in the sea and oceans ranging from microscopic bacteria to giant fishes and mammals. These resources represent the biological element of our oceans and are a vital component of human life. India's marine resources are one of the richest in our planet. India has a long coastline spanning more than 9,000 kilometers and an exclusive economic zone of 2.37 million square kilometers with diverse marine ecosystems which are home to 20,000 plus species offering a rich ground for scientific exploration and economic growth. India's exploration of the Indian Ocean commenced with the first international Indian Ocean expedition from 1959 to 1965. Realization of the significance of the oceans in the country's growth and development has led to the establishment of the Department of Ocean Development, DOD, in July 1981. This initiative subsequently aimed at development of knowledge and technologies for harnessing the abundant living and non-living marine resources, thus enhancing India's ocean development efforts. CMLRE has its genesis from the Sagar Sampada cell to operate one of its kind fishery oceanographic research vessel Sagar Sampada in the year 1985. It was renamed Center for Marine Living Resources and Ecology CMLRE in 2001 and given the mandate to survey and assess the marine living resources of the Indian EEZ and assess their responses to alterations in the physical environment. CMLRE under the Ministry of Earth Sciences implement the national program on the marine living resources of the Indian exclusive economic zone. FORV Sagar Sampada considered as the backbone of the marine living resource program has undertaken close to 400 fishery oceanographic expeditions contributing significantly to marine research and knowledge. CMLRE research activities include Assessing the biodiversity of the Indian seas with particular reference to island ecosystems and their ecology. Fishery resources and their habitat suitability. Ocean acidification studies. Societal activities comprising living resources enhancement through community farming. Use. The main objectives of these research themes are Serving and mapping marine biodiversity in Andaman and Nicobar and Lakshadweep Islands. Evaluating fishery resources and habitat suitability for key marine species in the Indian Exclusive Economic Zone. Studying marine ecosystem processes in the Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal, focusing on ocean acidification and its impact on biological dynamics. Enhancing marine living resources through hatchery rearing and training coastal communities for livelihood improvement. These research activities are synchronized to study India's marine resources and their response to the physical dynamics of the ocean. Biological samples ranging from microscopic worms to giant crabs and fishes are collected with fishery and bottom sampling gears and identified using conventional taxonomic tools and methods. These studies have so far resulted in the documentation of hundreds of species including 39 species previously unknown to science and 69 recorded for the first time in the Indian Exclusive Economic Zone. The vast biological material including 3,379 voucher specimens is now deposited in the referral center facility of the institute. The center caters to the demands of the public, the scientific community as policy makers by disseminating biodiversity information through its Indobis portal. 
Indian Ocean Biodiversity Information System hosted by CMLRE is a regional node to the International OBIS under the Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission which was established with the primary objective to collect and archive geo-referenced biodiversity records from both primary and secondary sources in an internationally accepted format. The web portal currently hosts 1,4011 geo-referenced marine species occurrence records from all over the Indian Ocean, thus functioning as a clearinghouse for marine biodiversity data information fulfilling various national and international obligations. Moreover, the center regularly contributes scientific publications, brochures and field identification catalogs of marine species for the benefit of the society. The center also identified new potential deep water trawlable grounds down to 1000 meter depth along the Indian exclusive economic zone and mapped potential demersal fishery resources. Climate change induced regime shifts and biodiversity losses make it imperative to identify the marine hotspots and create an inventory of biodiversity throughout the Indian Exclusive Economic Zone and areas beyond national jurisdiction ABNJs. In light of this, CMLRE employs cutting-edge technology like next-generation sequencing, imaging technologies such as micro-CT and scanning electron microscope, artificial intelligence and machine learning to collect essential information for assessing, monitoring and exploring biodiversity and its associated ecology. This enables the study of distribution trends of marine organisms and their habitat and the evaluation of relationships between species distributions and abundance, regime shifts, invasive species and range extensions. To accomplish the aforementioned tasks, the center is in the process of establishing state-of-the-art research facilities. The Bhavasagara Referral Center is projected to be a designated repository and a national museum for the marine fauna of the Northern Indian Ocean. CMLRE Collaboration – National and International The center serves as a national focal point for the dissemination of information on the marine living resources and deep sea biodiversity of the Indian EEZ. CMLRE functions as the regional node to the Ocean Biodiversity Information System under the Intergovernmental Oceanographic Commission. The center deals with a new global implementing agreement, namely Biodiversity Beyond National Jurisdiction BBNJ, under the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Seas. The center represents the country in the Commission for the Conservation of Antarctic Marine Living Resources CCAMLR, which was established for the management of the Southern Ocean resources, particularly the Antarctic krill, single species with the largest total biomass. The Government of India, through the Ministry of Earth Sciences, has initiated the Deep Ocean Mission DOM, to harness living and non-living resources from the deep oceans. CMLRE, in collaboration with National Institute of Ocean Technology and Baba Atomic Research Center, is employing cutting-edge technologies to explore and conserve deep-sea biodiversity. In this context, Goal 14 of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals SDGs, aim to conserve and sustainably use the oceans, seas and marine resources for sustainable development. Center for Marine Living Resources and Ecology, CMLRE.